Okay, 6.7. Uh, solving problems involving objects. So, so really guys, this one really is the same as what we were doing before. Um, we just have composite objects. And you guys have actually done this in, in Math 9. It's like the same thing. So this whole, this whole topic should be reviewed. So I'll just do a few examples, I think. And then that should be, we should be good to go. All right, so number one says, determine the volume of this composite object um to the nearest tenth of a cubic centimeter all right so what what we got going on here is we have a cylinder and we've got half of a sphere right so the good news about volume is that uh it's pretty straightforward we just have to find the, the find each of those objects right each of those two parts of our composite object and then add them together. Volume's pretty straightforward. So, so let's do that. So let's figure out first, let's do the cylinder. So the cylinder, the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder. We'll do that one first. Which is V is equal to pi r squared, oh my pen's off, uh, times h. Sorry, one sec, guys. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, hopefully that works better. Okay, so we really have all of that information, so I'll just figure that out one out right now. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. So let's just solve that one first. So we'll say volume is equal to pi times, and then my radius is 18 squared, and then my height is 32, so times 32. Okay, so whatever that is. Okay, so we get Big number. The volume is equal to 32,572 point. And then there's, there's a bunch of decimal places and I would leave those for now because like leave a bunch of them so that we're accurate and we can round it at the end. So we'll say like 0 0.033, uh, three, right? That's probably good enough. Okay, so it's that. So let's put a box around that. Because the way I like to do it is that, like, just everything I put a box around, I'm going to add it all up at the end, right? So we have that. And then volume of a sphere. So the volume of your sphere is volume of a sphere. Whoa, that was weird. Ignore that weird line. So volume of a sphere is four thirds. Uh, pi r cubed. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do here in the end, right, is we have a half a sphere, so that's easy. We're just gonna figure out the sphere and then divide it by two. But remember how I said last time that we can do that right in this step if we wanted to? I can divide this all by two right now, right? Maybe, it, and dividing by two, I really just mean put a two down in the denominator. And then that would really become four over two this whole thing can just be rewritten, make that blue, as um, two over three pi r cubed, right? That would, this is now the equation or the formula for a half of a sphere. Okay, so put that one in. So we've got two over three. All right, so from that one, just putting it all in, I didn't do it that time, but probably should have. 4.512, okay, and then just adding up everything in a box, right? So in the end here, we get our total volume would be that one, Oh, 
was that one. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we get a volume of 44,787, rounding it up. And then that was centimeters. Sorry, tenth of a cubic cubic one. So sorry. Let's let's do that. So that was 0.5 centimeters cubed. Okay, number two. Determine the surface area of this composite object. Okay, so this one's really not too bad. They've already actually, like a lot of times, remember last time they gave us like the height and then we had to do that Pythagorean theorem stuff to figure out what the slant height was there. This is actually handy because, or easy, because they already gave us the one we wanted, right? We were looking for surface area and they gave us the height there. Well, that's a weird thing going on with my smartboard. Um, they gave me this, like the, the height of that already. So we can just actually figure this one out. Um, let's do our triangles first. So let's just figure out the area of this triangle. Um, so that's just going to be area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle is going to be base times height divided by two or one half base times height. So in this case, the area of that triangle, the base of this, right, of this one, is still gonna be five, right? Because that's the same as this one. <laughs> well, I'm having technical difficulties here. So anyway, five and five, right? So the base of this thing is still gonna be five, and my height is four. I'm dividing that by two, so the area of this guy is just going to be 10, right? 10 meters squared. Okay, but really now, so that's the area of one of these. Well, there's four of them, right? This one, this one, that side, and that side. They're all the exact same. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go, so the area of that one is going to be, area is going to be 10 times 4. So the area is going to be equal to 40 meters squared. Okay, I'm going to put a box around that because I'm going to add that up here in a minute. Now let's figure out the area of one of these faces, right? So this will be the area of, of a rectangle or a square, it's base times height. So the area is going to be 5 times 5, so the area is going to be equal to 25. And then, so it's 25 meters squared. How many are there? Well, there's the, this side, so one, two, three, four, and then don't forget the bottom, it's exactly the same too, so there's five. So I'm gonna go 25 times five, right? So that's gonna be my area. So the area here is gonna be 125 meters squared, okay. So in the end there, let's just say the area total is going to be really just those two guys added together now, right? So, oh, my pen. Okay, I got to do this one more time. Sorry, guys. So the area total is going to be equal to uh, 165 meters squared. Just adding those two together, right? All right, last one. This shouldn't even look familiar if you remember way back to grade nine. We did a ton of these. All right, so. There are, it says, uh, kind of you have the surface area and volume of the following. So let's do volume first. Volume's pretty, pretty easy and pretty straightforward. So the volume of this thing is going to be, well, the volume of our cylinder plus the volume of our 
of our box there, right? Just add it together. Volumes, volumes, easy ones. The volume of our cylinder. I'm gonna do all in one one move here too. It's gonna be pi. Um, the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times h. Right, so I can just put that in in a second. And I'm gonna make this into one equation. We'll say it's that plus the volume of our box. And that's just gonna be base times height times width, right? That's just one, like one dimension times the other dimension times the other dimension, right? So putting all that in, we get volume is equal to pi times the radius of our cylinder was three squared, right? Because our uh, diameter was six, so the radius was three. Our height of that cylinder was eight. Okay, so we'll figure out that and we'll go plus. And now the box was seven times 10, oh, 10 times four. Sorry guys, it's really messy. My <laughs> smart board's having a fit. times 10 times four. Okay. Um, all right, putting that all in, we get the volume is equal to 506.2. It's really hard to write right now. And then that was feet squared, or feet uh, cubed, sorry. All right. Okay, so that's the idea, guys. I'm kind of struggling here because my pen's not working. I want to do the next one, but I might not be able to. Okay. So uh, the next one here is going to be the surface area. So the surface area, this one, probably the best way to do this, and this one, this one, um, can be a little confusing, I guess, but I think we'll be all right. Where, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure out actually the surface area of the box first. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna figure out all the faces, including the top, right? Including the top, and then do you remember how when I did that, that if I figure out the area of the whole top of this box, what I'm doing is all of this blue area and I'm also including the area of the circle on the top when I do it, right? So if I figure, if I just go 10 times four, right? That's gonna give me all of that blue area plus the area on the top of that cylinder, which is nice because then now I don't even need to find the area of that circle because I already accounted for it, right? So, so bear with me, let's do that one. So let's go, we'll figure out the area of, of that blue area I just found there right now. So that would be, my area, so we'll say area is equal to 10 times four, right? And then that's the exact same as the bottom. So I'm gonna go times two as well, right? So that area is going to be equal to 10 times four is 40, times two is 80, okay? I'm gonna put a box around that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that in a second. I'll leave the units off for a second, just for simplicity. All right, now we'll do um, the sides here now. So we'll say, okay, this side and the back side, that would be, that area would be set seven times 10 and then times two because there's both sides, right? So we'll say the area is equal to seven times 10 is 70 times two is 140. Put the box around that. Now we'll do this side and that side. So we'll say the area is <laughs> a funny bet is equal uh, is equal to 
four times seven. times two is equal to 56. Put a box around that one. Okay, and then we're pretty good to go if you think about it, right? So I, what I've done here now is I've done this entire box, right? The blue part, purple part, the red part. Actually in the blue part too, I count for the bottom as well, right? Because we multiplied that by two. The only thing that we have left, left to account for here is the outside of our cylinder. So the outside of our cylinder, if you look at your formula sheet, is, here I'll write down what the formula is for the whole thing, right? That is area for a cylinder is equal to um, pi rs, oh I'm sorry, uh, 2 pi rh uh, plus 2 pi r squared, right? That's the formula for my, my cylinder. But just looking at this thing a little bit closer, the, the two pi r squared part of this, right? That one, well, that was for my two circles, right? That was the top circle and the bottom circle, but I don't need to account for those, right? Because I can't even see this one, right? That one's not even showing. And this one I accounted for when I found the top of my box. So I don't even need the circles part of this, right? All I need is this part of it, which is my which is my uh, outside of my cylinder part. Okay, so we'll, we'll fill that in. So we'll say a is equal to two times pi. The radius would still be three, because it's that cylinder. And then my height was eight. All right, so we're gonna go to two. Okay, so we get the area is equal to 150 point you know seven nine six right okay so now everything in the box we're just going to add up and then we should be good so it'll be that plus 80 plus 140 plus 56 so we get a total area for this guy of 426 point seven nine I think it wanted it to the nearest tenth, right? Yeah. Okay, so then that would just be the area is equal to 426.8. And then that was in feet squared. Okay. And that is it.